welcome back to Good News Today. We currently have some breaking news at 7 p.m. There's currently a trial going on at the Ku Klux Courthouse involving the police killing of Martin Boomer King. Is Jimmy still uh, behind those cats? Donald? No, I'm sure he'll just go out of it, you know. This is a little, little Donald, kid Donald, you're live. Donald? Oh, and we're live. This is Donald Trump reporting at the Ku Klux Courthouse. Just behind these doors, the prosecutors are currently questioning the defendant, Smal Pippenhouse, on his implications in the murder of Martin Boomer King. What is this? And we're getting more breaking news. There are reports that police have arrested, no, no, police have killed a robbery suspect outside a bank just minutes ago. According to the ID, the robber is Senator Shabibo's brother. <laughs> Apologize. I think we were having some network difficulties and we didn't hear the second part of Donald Trump's statement. We will now move down to the cameras inside the courthouse. Mr. Pippenhouse, did you kill Mr. King that night? Well, yes sir, I did kill him. But it was wholly justified, I swear. Well, according to forensic reports, you shot him a total of 83 times. Enough to fully sever all of his limbs and behead him. You know, in police training, we're taught to, to fully subdue the suspect. Eyewitnesses that first arrived on the scene described that as being a Jackson Pollock painting. If Jackson Pollock painted with intestines. Oh, he had a tattoo on his shoulder. It said BLM. You know, BLM, the terrorist organization. Brotherhood of Love and Murders. Sir, I'm sure you know that BLM stands for Black Lives Matter. Oh, well, uh, you know, I got plenty of black friends. And my grandpa, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, back in the day, you know, uh, he owned this really big farm. And he had a lot of black workers, you know. <laughs> what you're describing right now is slavery. You know, I think in this day and age, slavery is too harsh a word. It's too, it's too harsh. I, I prefer terms like coerced labor, mistreatment of people of color, something lighter, you know. Like he was trying to go for my gun. I had to pull my gun out and shoot. Nope, according to CCTV cameras, he was just going for a handshake and a hug because he respected the police. I mean, I was scared for my life. People with guns are crazy. You never know what they can do. They could have shot me. He had no sleeves, no pockets, nor to had guns at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I was uh, uh, just me, 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 merely doing, a, doing my job, you know? I mean, what, what, what would you do if a scary man lunged at you with his, his pants past his knees, you know? His, he had, this, he had this, uh, this wife beater on him. He could have been a police beater. You know? Uh, yeah, he was, he was unarmed. No, no, I could Small Pippin House, innocent of all charges. This lobster is absolutely divine. Oh, if you have questions about the trial, go right ahead. Do you agree with the result of the trial? Well, I'll lay the, I'll lay the facts out right here. I think that Sergeant Pippin House should be declared as a hero. He is truly a national treasure. I know everything there is to know about America. And I know that this is the land of the free, where you have freedoms and equal opportunities, okay? Everyone has a chance to succeed. So it's not my fault if people are in poverty or dying on the streets. People should take responsibility for their own actions. Look at me. I was given a small loan of just a million dollars. And look where I'm now. I'm the senator. You know how hard it was? Just a million dollars. Mr. Shabibo, I think this is for you. Senator Shabibo talking. My brother? Killed? By police? He had an AK-47 and two rocket launchers? You know what, this is absolutely uncalled for. Absolutely. What, what right do they have to kill him? Yes, Mr. President. I think it's time to abolish the police.